A $7 game that reminds you of all your favorite games? Why not? Hi everybody, I'm Babaloo, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about a game that I found on Steam for only $7, and it's called 8-Bit Boy. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. 8-Bit Boy is a 2D side-scrolling platformer that took inspiration from Mega Man, Super Mario Bros., Sonic the Hedgehog, as well as some others that I won't list off because there are a lot of great platformers from back in the day. The summary of the plot is that 8-Bit Boy, that's what I'm gonna call him, is depressed because he's unemployed, so he decides to search the basement and finds his old 8-Bit console. And he's so happy about finding this, and then suddenly he finds a mysterious game that he's never seen before. There's no label on it, it's just... It's just drawing him in. So he decides to put the game in and give it a try. Cause I mean, nothing bad ever happens when you try something mysterious that you don't know anything about, right? And of course, he gets sucked into the game and has to play his way out. And like any games nowadays, you start with a tutorial that shows you how to jump, teaches you about the power-ups, and teaches you how to use the power-ups by using physics. You know, physics. That class in high school you failed, but you took it because you thought it would be a fun class. But when it's all said and done, it's just a glorified math class. Stupid Newton. Now there are five worlds in this game, and they are the forest world, the desert world, the ice world, everyone's favorite. World four is techno level, and finally level five is spooky world. And I mean, these are just the names I've called them. I don't know what their official name are. But I like the names I picked. As far as enemies go, there's Green Bird, Yellow Bird, Black Bird. Oh hey look, something that's not a bird! Blue Bird. They get angry when you spit on them. And many more. Some look ordinary, some look like uh, they came from nightmares. But mostly birds. And speaking of birds, let's look at the boss fights. They're against birds. Starting to get the idea that this game developer didn't like birds. But in true Mario style, you defeat the bosses by jumping on them three times. Each boss is relatively the same, with the next one being a bit more difficult and having a couple newer elements to it. Until you get to the final boss, the Robot Bird. And holy crap was this guy difficult. But once you finally defeat him, you're told that the game isn't actually over. You need to go through and collect all the secret coins and all the levels. Speaking of secret things, there are a lot of little secret areas in each level. Some are obvious, and some are not. And some you find completely by accident. But within each area, you'll either find a power-up or some coins. Or you could just die trying to get to them. It's fun to find all these secret areas and see what's in store for you. While there were some that I took one look at and said, screw it, it's not worth it. So when it's all said and done, I would have to say that 8-Bit Boy is pretty good. It's a great side-scroller that will tickle your nostalgia. And like I said, you can get it on Steam for cheap, so why not check it out? So now, why don't you guys tell me what your favorite nostalgia game is? The kind of old game that you can just think about it just bring this smile to your face put it down in the comments and we can discuss now if you excuse me i'm gonna try to not pass out from heat stroke hey guys thanks so much for watching before i let you go i just want to let you guys know that if you haven't gotten enough of me you can follow me on twitter at babaloo or like my facebook page facebook.com slash babaloo that way you can get updates when new videos come out you can also check out some of my older videos which i'm showing you here and click that like and subscribe button, it really helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.